Hello everyone and welcome to another Factorial Friday Facts discussion. I'm Exterminator and thank you for joining me today. Uh, this is an awesome one, uh, number 393, putting things on top of other things. We have two amazing new features coming. Uh, well, they are both really good. One of them is like super uh, new one is kind of just an upgraded thing. Um, so we are getting basically item stacking and then we're also getting a, another level of transport belt. Uh, which is honestly the belt I kind of it was expecting something maybe but I was honestly never expecting them to do item stacking uh, like in in the actual game you, you know we can do it with mods but uh, this this is super cool so let's just get right into it uh, this is written by V uh, now I'm not gonna actually do a lot of summarization because it's fairly short and uh, <laughs> uh, I, V always writes really really funny Friday facts um, so I'm just gonna read it uh, <clears throat> so he starts off by saying I have an irresistible urge to tell you a little story. I'm sure you come here for stories, right? A story. Once upon a time in a land where smoke pollution and genocide is the norm. <laughs> so uh, there is actual uh, admittance and confirmation that uh, we basically are just here committing genocide on this uh, Factorio novice planet. Uh, there were these developers. They added various methods of logistics to their game, and the various methods were not always in harmony. In the community, camps were created, and on occasion, uh, arguments were raised eventually... Uh, even these developers added their perspective, which could only be uh, equal to fuel the fire. Uh, torches and pitchforks are picked up. There were ideas how to calm and dispute, but not much came of it except 96 more pages of arguments along with splitter output filters and priorities. But some ideas are harder to kill than others, and one Friday a developer dug too deep. For the lulls and discord reactions, he thought to himself in the heat of Friday fact discussion, and charged his steed forward, madness followed. And we can see a uh, example here, which is pretty awesome. When I uh, woke up this morning and saw this, I was like kind of freaking out because uh, I truly never expect them to do item stacking in uh, in the base game, you know, without a mod, basically. So this is all Boss Kid's fault, basically. <laughs> Heresy time it was. Boss Kid going eight beyond the point of no return. This was the gift posted to the Discord with the first X. Experimental changes. Uh, so thank you, Boss Kid, for uh, forcing this upon all the other devs. Uh, but basically, justice was served as in response. I gave this noble went mad knight reasons why his heresy can't stand. Reasons already uh, discussed repeatedly in the past. Though I've also shared my affection for this kind of sin, as I too have decent or er, have dreamt about it many times. The horror went. Through our internal random channel and corrects the mighty responded with curiosity and interest as well. Basically, how it usually goes, uh, reiterating reasons why it can't be done gets you to think how to do it again, and I have indeed found a way we hadn't considered before. Uh, so they do give a link here to a very old Friday Facts 225, uh, probably going into some reasons why like it couldn't be done or they didn't want to do it, uh, but some things have changed. So the holy grail here, the solution they came up with is a new inserter, the bulk inserter. Uh, so you can see it just looks different. It has two uh, fingers basically on either side. Uh, it looks wider too maybe. It's kind of hard to tell because you never like get a super close up of the inserters but I'm pretty sure the other ones don't have the double like fingers here. Uh, so it's it's interesting because it's not actually done with a machine, it's done with an inserter which does actually kind of make sense to me in a way. Uh, you know the machine and inserters have pros and cons each uh, but if this is the way they found best to do it I'm totally for this. Uh, and there's some other uh, kind of good implications that come with this as well. So the bulk inserter, it's the only way to load belts with stacked items. A new key detail that makes it work is that the bulk inserter only ever starts swinging when its hand is full. So I think part of the problem they probably had in the past was having uh, stacks that had different amounts of items in them and stuff, but this is just going to be the same every single time, basically. So the bulk inserter can hold X amount of items and it's only ever going to put a stack on when it has basically a full hand worth of stuff. So you're not going to be getting like stacks of 3, stacks of 10, stacks of 15 of all the same item. Uh, it's just like going to wait until it fills up so it's the same amount every time which really helps with consistency and like errors and stuff I would imagine. So it basically if he just says it guarantees it will only ever put full stacks of items on belts. Uh, suddenly, all the pieces fall into place. Inserters can only put items into empty spots on belts, not putting onto existing stacks. So again, it's not going to like stack on items moving by and create stacks that are already on the belt. Uh, it can only put 
like I said, a fresh stack on basically. Side loading and splitters do not modify the stack heights at all. So you can still side load and split, but it's not going to change the stack. It's just going to be like, you know, if you have one stack and a splitter is just going to send the whole thing one way. You know, it's not going to split it in half. Uh, if only bulk inserters interact with the belt, there will only uh, there will be only maximally full stacks. <clears throat> if an inserter taking items from the belt has a smaller hand than the belt stack size, it will only take as many items uh, as its hand can carry, leaving a non-full stack in place. Uh, so my understanding with this part is like, since yellow belts are only so fast, you know, if you have max inserter uh, hand size and such that it's possible the bulk inserter could be carrying more than the belt could actually carry, I think is my understanding here. Um, so, or maybe they're just building in a new feature where each belt type has a maximum stack size that is different than its actual speed or something, uh, but that's kind of my impression here. Uh, if you want to restack the belt to the maximum, you can pick up and redrop the items with the bulk inserter. <clears throat> so you can see here, um, it is you know, basically just taking stacks off the middle belt, putting them on other belts, is not changing the, uh, well, I guess it is changing the stack size. So these are stacking, and then this one is not. So basically what's happening, I'm actually a little confused. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I looked at this before and I didn't actually quite notice. Um, yeah, cause like these ones are staying stacked, but then these aren't. Um, so, I'm a little confused why that's happening. I may be just not fully awake yet, uh, but <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, this is a stack inserter, obviously, but then these are the bulk inserters, I think. Uh, but even the bulk inserters, well, they're kind of fully unstacking it. Um, yeah, it's a, little, it's a little confusing, to be honest. Uh, so we now have new type of research bonus, belt stack size. Okay, so yeah, I forgot that I... <laughs> It read this part. Uh, at first, along with the bulk inserter, you just get plus one bonus and eventually get plus get to plus three, meaning you can have at most stacks of four items each. Mod can increase this number, but we found that four is already a massive buff to belts without uh, completely breaking the graphics. The bulk inserter has a great hand capacity, or greater hand capacity, sorry, than the stack inserter is 16 compared to 12, so it's usually superior. So you could just use <coughs> a bulk inserter I think you could just use a bulk inserter from like machine to machine, uh, just if you want, you know, more stuff to be moved because it just has a higher uh, hand size basically. Uh, but its use uh, is a bit more complicated in places where multiple items are transferred. It could get stuck waiting for the wrong item type, so you need to be a little careful when using it. Uh, yeah, I can see that being a problem. Sometimes you still have this problem with stack inserters, so I could be see it being a little amplified with the bulk inserters, uh, but. <clears throat> Yeah, so they have a new research, basically, belt stack size. Um, and then also, uh, they, they say you may have noticed that the inserter hands now show more than one item, which is uh, beautiful to look at, as you can anticipate when it will swing. This applies for all inserters, not just bulk ones. The amount of items drawn is uh, half, so it doesn't look too ridiculous. You can see here, which is pretty, pretty cool. And then also, uh, the big miners that they introduced a few Friday facts ago just automatically output in stacks apparently. Uh, so I think they showed these working in another Friday, in, in the other Friday facts where they revealed them and it wasn't doing this, so they must have uh, had to like sneakily turn off stacking or something uh, because it wasn't doing this as far as I can remember. I'm pretty sure we wouldn't notice that, but uh, basically uh, they had a call with Bosca in our seating where they presented the idea and they said it's technically doable, so Bosca went ahead and implemented the bulk inserter our seating made big mining drills automatically output stacks of items and uh, the did the graphics, which look great. Um, however, there are some changes now with insert. Excuse me, there I had to had to cough. Still, still super congested here. But uh, basically, what's happening is they are just removing filter inserters, and all inserters can now have filters. And I think this is absolutely fantastic. I uh, for quite a long time now, like have wondered why they didn't do this sooner. Um, it just kind of seems like extra clutter, to be honest. I mean, like, I, I can understand, too, like, the maybe, you know, reason for keeping them uh, is you don't want filters being accessed until later in the game or something, but uh, I do really like this. So now we're just going to have basically just these inserters. Uh, no specific filter inserters. Every inserter can just have five filters set. Um, just 
like right off the bat. So, uh, you know, basically V just says when you place an inserter down, we don't want to be stuck waiting for filter, so we added a use filter checkbox to uh, the inserter GUI, which is off by default, of course. And uh, basically just goes on to say that having less than these war battles is always nice for removing filter inserters. It's quite convenient in various places. Uh, basically just goes into different reasons here. Uh, and then mentions in the space age, uh, part of the expansion is common that you send both types of inserters to space platform, while now you'll be fine with just one. Again, so you don't have to be sending all these different types necessarily. Uh, and then being able to set filters in long-handed is actually extremely helpful. <laughs> like that alone is a huge upgrade. Uh, and then it says freeze up purple and white from the inserter color, so I could use the new inserter shapes and paint them white. I wonder if we'll be getting a purple inserter that's even different. Uh, I'd be surprised if we get yet another one, but it is possible because I honestly didn't expect this one either. So, uh, and then all that's left was graphics with technology icons for programming. Uh, it was making the stacked items draw correctly. Um, so basically just goes into that and then uh, you can see here but with some of the magic and their sacrifice he had prevailed yet again so you can see the items are stacked here I mean it's a little hard to tell on the vertical and turns because it's moving so fast but you can definitely see here the stacked items and honestly it looks great like this doesn't look super janky or anything it just looks super cool I really really like this and then faster tier belt so this one is really awesome too um, they say that when they started working on Space Age, one of the obvious things to add was a new faster belt tier. Uh, basically, the main reason that they never did this was that it just looks way too quick, and when the belt movement becomes too quick, and you'll experience this if you use like additional belt mods, uh, it can almost look like it's standing still or moving backwards. I've noticed this when I've uh, like spotlighted some belt mods and stuff. Uh, it just looks like a little, little weird, honestly. Uh, but. V just goes on to say the graphics are, you know, it's more than just a simple recolor. When empty, these new belts ha also have double the arrow spacing compared to express or fast ramp support belts, and there are little touches like hints of dark arrows which help see the belt move quickly. So, yeah, this one is uh, it's pretty fast. Like, it's a little hard. Um, like, for me, it makes me a little bit dizzy when it's empty. I'm sure when there's stuff on, it'll be fine. Uh, but they do a good job of making it still be able to see movement on it. And then super long underground too. So the underground can reach two tiles further than the express underground. I don't remember the exact reach of the underground for express. Uh, I want to say it's nine or eight maybe. I mean, we can just count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like, I think this is maybe 10 or 11. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, when full belts at their 60 item a second speed, so this is huge. I'm pretty sure that blue belts... Uh, express belts are 45 so this 60 is I mean it's the same incremental increase from the as the other belts go up but 60 is pretty dang good so it becomes really hard to tell if items are moving or not we observe that items with randomized icons like raw ore don't have this problem but you can see with like circuits it's super hard to tell like it's super it's really blurry and kind of looks weird but uh, it, he does say that Harissa had or Harusa had the idea to randomize the colors of items on belts. You won't notice the effect at a glance, but it helps to see movement a lot. So you can tell kind of this is moving super fast, but again, I mean, it, it is better. So they did do a good job there, but that is the one issue with the faster belts is it looks a little bit weird. <clears throat> so the conclusion here is increasing belt throughput was something we had really wanted to do for a while now, and quality magnified this desire 6.25 times. So machines can work 2.5 times faster, plus speed modules can get 2.5 times faster, not to mention some of the space age produces craft much quicker than assuming than assembling machines do. I'm also wondering if he's even factoring in uh, beacons here. It seems like not. Maybe it is. I don't know. <laughs> it's too early to do math for me. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, having faster belts kind of seem like it was needed at that point because when you're having these machines spit stuff out like at these insane speeds you know that's easily going to fill a blue belt uh you, you would have to have way more blue belts than you do now for a while they'd restrain their host by just adding a faster belt tier or uh yeah but we know it, uh we'd ideally want something more and the belt stacking had always been the ideal candidate we just didn't see how a way to implement it 
One of the, one of the concerns was that if transport belt throughput multiplies, you might never need to use more than one or two belts or the throughput for almost any items, reducing logistic challenge drastically. But with Space Age adding planets, they basically lock this farther down. So uh, the uh, bulk inserters and then the faster belts are locked on different planets. So it's not like you just can research these on novice with like yellow science or something. You have to go to different planets to get them, which makes sense. And uh, you probably wouldn't need them till then anyway once you get your like legendary quality stuff. So that makes sense. And they also were really hesitant to add more entities, but now Space Edge adds quite a few more, and one more insert tier isn't that much to add, especially as we've removed two filter inserters. <clears throat> Excuse me, he says that people who build uh, factories optimized for UPS, updates per second, if you didn't know, usually get the idea of using circuit network to force inserters to fill their hand before swinging. This new type of inserter can now do this out of the box, which is super nice as well. That's a little uh, performance upgrade. Uh, this might be personal affection, but I also think items on top of each other look absolutely psycho in a very good way. Obviously, some items look more wild than others, and we might consider to do something about it if we have time. But for what uh, matters is that the future works, uh, is that it works in the future and is fun to play with. In the end, our old dream of stag items on belts finally became a reality, and belts with bots live happily ever after, except the bots crying. So, uh, the one thing to note here, which you probably already noticed, uh, is this is this don't this don't that this does not work <laughs> on uh, with, with uh, robots right this um, the, the stacking only works with belts uh, because they say that well that may not be entirely true uh, it's actually kind of open to interpretation I don't think they specifically say it only works on belts they only show it on belts uh, and stuff uh, so. I'm actually, uh, it, it could go either way, I suppose, um, because, yeah, they don't mention any uh, instance of bots being able to take advantage of stacks, like being able to pick up stacks of items, uh, and then it's the inserter, so, uh, yeah, there's actually some, some holes here, like, they don't say if the bulk inserter can put stacks into a chest, like, if it grabs from a machine and puts it into a chest, uh, it's obviously creating stacks from a chest, but, you know, they're not already stacked in there. Uh, so, I'm actually, uh, I'm really curious what you guys think. Uh, because they don't mention bots, uh, and the bot's crying. Uh, so, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if this is something that only works on belts to kind of, uh, you know, bring them above or, or with bots uh, a bit. But maybe bots could do it, or maybe there will be faster bots for more bot upgrades. You know, we never know. This, Like, honestly, at this point, <laughs> folks... Anything's possible, you know. We got we got elevated trains, we got faster belts, we got stacking items. Like this is all of this stuff. Most of the stuff is things that I never would have expected they would add. So maybe we'll get more bot researches, or maybe we'll get a new kind of bot, or, or new uh, bot abilities, or something. Who knows? Um, you know. So that is you know TDA, I suppose. And I'm really interested on your thoughts on all this. Uh, are you happy about all this? Are there any issues you see with this? What are your thoughts? Do you think bots will be able to take advantage of stacks? Uh, I may have missed somewhere where they said it can only be done on belts. I don't think that was said specifically, uh, but I may have missed it. Overall, though, absolutely exciting features. I love both of these so much. Uh, the belts, I don't know that I'll take as much advantage of, usually just because uh, I don't build a lot of belt mega bases where this seems like this would really need to happen. Uh, now, the stacks... I, I would take advantage of it even with the slower belt and, and uh, without a mega base necessarily. If I can get to the other planets, I mean, stacking items would be would be huge. That makes your belts be able to carry so much more. It's like pretty crazy. You could do some insane uh, size mega bases with belts now. Uh, not that you couldn't before, but like you know, before you would maybe need like 40 belts of surges or something. But now when you can stack like four plus items and you have a faster tier belt, I mean, you can just shrink that down uh, or just you know, use that to build an even higher science per minute or whatever. So overall, super exciting. Uh, please leave your thoughts down below. If you are as excited as I am, uh, definitely drop a like on the video. And if you're new, welcome. And if you feel free to subscribe to keep up with all future content. And uh, until next time, I look forward to seeing you all and do take care.